What's your name, your birthday, your zodiac sign? Why you gotta get so personal? <laughs> <laughs> okay, my name, Leah McFly, and my birthday is September 3rd. I'm not a nerd, yes I am. And I'm a Virgo. That's right. I know what I want. <laughs> Why McFly? McFly, well, it's two things. I was obsessed with the movie Back to the Future. Still watch it every week, along with Little Mermaid. And I just thought Marty McFly just sounded so cool. He was the coolest with the jacket and the skateboard. I want to be him. And then I was called Fresh Princess and Leah, Princess Leah, and all these names. But then my friend was like, yo, like, and I made a status about Marty McFly or something, and my friend was like, you should call yourself McFly. Because you're a fly, your name is McKeezy. So you put it together, you get a bit of your real name and a bit of who you are. I was like, word to Big Bird. So then that was it. I was like, I'm keeping Leah McFly. I said goodbye to all the other names, Leah Mc which was Leah Poppins. That was my popping name. I had Princess Leah and Fresh Princess. I was like, peace out, A-Town down, Usher, Usher. Get out of my life. And I just kept Leah McFly because I'm like, that's who I am. That's like my, that's me. And then there's, there's Wakisha, which is my sexy side. That I just discovered not too long ago, a few years ago. So yeah, that's about it. What do you think about the third Back to the Future? There is one. <laughs> <laughs> I just I I don't. There is one. Your favorite Disney movie slash princess. Little Mermaid, get paid. <laughs> Little Mermaid, get paid. <laughs> oh my gosh, I loved her. I thought mermaids were real. I love mermaids. You don't understand. I love mermaids. I thought that I wanted to be one. I was like, if I had a wish. If Aladdin exists, if there was a genie, let me be a mermaid. Breathe on the water? Skills. Forget that. It's over. And I had like the bedspread, the shoes with the lights. I had the pencil case, the, the, the curtains. Like you walk in my room, everything Little Mermaid. Down to my hair clips, yo. Panties. Monday to Friday. Monday to Sunday. I'm sorry. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> What kind of guy would steal your heart? Oh, love. We're going to be here all day. Um, <laughs> he's got to have a sense of humor. Self-driven. Honest. Happy. Romantic. Understanding. It's not a lot to ask for. I hope not. Shit. <laughs> um, uh, someone that's very family-oriented. Yeah, that's the kind of guy still in my heart. Like, all of that. But really being self-driven, don't have to be rich. I'm not looking for a man to spoil me. Spoil me with the little things. I don't need big stuff. But I need a guy that can show me he's human, but have my back and support me, and not make me feel guilty of my lifestyle, and um, build together. So, yeah. You're a childhood hero. I'd say... My brothers, I'd say my brothers, because as crazy as they were, they taught me everything I know. They're, they're why I am who I am, because they gave me so much knowledge on how the real world works and how they thought of me and how they didn't want people to think of me. And they always have my backs, and they they really go out of their way, and I appreciate them. So, yeah, I would say them. I'm going to cry. <laughs> Your favorite moment on stage? My favorite moment on stage? Oh my gosh, just so many. I, hold on. Favorite moment. I have to say, it was when my, me and my brother first did our first debut performance of our crew, Too Marvelous. Like, working hard in our basement, banging my head on the walls for various reasons. I was supposed to fall dead. And he used to catch me, but one day he didn't catch me. And I went straight to the floor. Anyways. But yeah, that was my best, that would say, a performance moment. Your biggest 
dance inspiration? My biggest dance inspiration would be my dad. I think, like, seeing him, just the way he exposed us to funk music from a young age. And I remember, like, when, um, when Puff Daddy came up with Don't Push Me. And my dad was like, that's from Grandmaster Flash. This is the original. And he would play it. And I was, like, so ahead from my age. Like, I knew all the songs that they were remaking. Like, Jay-Z, Won't You Be My Sunshine. And I was like, my dad was like, yo, this is the real album. And I was like, oh. Like, I appreciated that. And then later on when I became to dance, like, when I was locking from young, it was just, like, just the old people dance. That's how I was really thinking. But then when I started to get to dancing pro professional and then I noticed the popping style which my dad was doing with the robots and then the locking when I saw was inspired by Soul Train and I got more insight and then when I was exposed to it in the dance scene I was just like oh shoot like all this time I had these gems like in my basement in my own house and I was just ignoring it so then I would perform with my dad like I have a I meet my dad and my brother we did a show my dad would like drop into the splits and like all that stuff so I think like he was my biggest inspiration and it helped because he pushed me he wasn't mad that I wanted to pursue it he was like go girl like my mom didn't want it but he was like he came to every show he drove me to New York he drove me to Toronto he told me anywhere he could drive me and just was there so he's my biggest biggest inspiration what's your idea of a utopia what is a utopia What's your idea? I don't know. Is it a juice? Oh, <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> 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 okay, so I fucking fell for that. I You're like, no. <laughs> no, but other than a juice, what is a utopia? What do you mean? It's the perfect world. Oh, perfect world. I want you to call it. Um, <laughs> perfect world. Um, peace. Love. Affection. Without the erection. People are lust too much. I'm just saying that. I just feel everyone's lusty. Lusty and busty. Everyone's just like, hey, you look good. It's like, <laughs> can, you say it, can you say it in a better way? Can you say you look beautiful? Why does you guy, you know, in the metro, and the guy's like, he's sexy. I'm just like, why can't you just be like, you look very beautiful today. You know, like, why can't we do that? I'm straying off. What were we saying? Utopia. Perfect world. Yeah. Perfect world would be, like I said, peace. Great health. Great awareness. And um, staying as humanly as possible. That might sound weird, but people don't know how to be real. They keep saying, I keep it 100. I keep it real. You are stale. You're not keeping nothing real. People just like to throw that word around and they ain't doing shit and they ain't saying shit. People are afraid to voice what they really feel. They're too busy hashtagging dumb shit, you know? So, perfect world would be to have people really be real. Human, like, I need, I feel like we're, I'm lacking. I feel like I'm on earth with robots, which is probably going to happen soon anyway. Where can we find you online and your work? You can find me in the club. Okay. <laughs> Where can you find me online? Uh, <laughs> you can find me on Facebook. Facebook. Um, under Leah McFly, L E A H M C F L Y dash Wakisha double U two A's C K E I S J. Um, Instagram Leah McFly zero three. Twitter. Hope you're not a quitter. Leah McFly. And um, if you want to comment on Skype, I'm joking. Um, you could Google, you could YouTube me, not Google. Um, YouTube me, uh, Leah McFly, or under Waikisha. And uh, Two Marvelous website, which I'm going to be revamping soon for a blog. Coming to a screen near you. And uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're a bomb diggity, you know that. You the bomb diggity.
Thank you.